If you've uploaded any videos to YouTube, you've probably experienced the same frustration I have, which is that beautiful 4K, 240 frames per second masterpiece you filmed while racing down a mountain, risking life and limb, has suddenly been relegated to a pixelated pile of dog shit. Now, I've done a ton of research trying to figure out why this happens and spent a lot of time uploading my videos using different attributes and in different methods trying to see what works best and I think I figured it out so I wanted to share it with all of you guys today first off it helps to understand the mechanics of how YouTube processes videos I promise only a little techno babble here but it's good to know YouTube compresses your video down considerably in order to save space on their servers Bitrate is mainly to blame for this, and without going into too much detail, just think of bitrate as how much data can be processed at any given time. A higher bitrate allows for smoother video when your image is rapidly changing. Therefore, your best video will come when the changes on screen are minimal. This is why third-person footage, for example, where the cameraman is standing still, results in the highest quality image on YouTube, since the amount of changes on screen are far less than point-of-view shots where you're riding at 30 miles per hour through dense woods, trying not to get decapitated by downed trees or oncoming motors. In addition, shots where blue sky, for example, fill half the screen, or snow, will come out better than shots where you're surrounded by foliage, as the blue sky requires less processing since less is changing in your image. All right, techno babble out of the way. Since most of us can't change where we shoot video, what can we do within our editors to improve our chances at a quality end product? YouTube has some very picky requirements when it comes to video uploads. I placed the link in the comments below to where the specifics are spelled out. Depending on the sophistication of your editing software, you may not be able to tweak all of these settings to meet YouTube's demands, but more is better than less. The main characteristics you need to be aware of, MP4 is the preferred container, and AAC is the preferred audio codec. So make sure you at a minimum export your video as an MP4, and if you can, use AAC for audio. As for the rest of YouTube preferred settings, I found you will have the best results if you simply make sure you're exporting your video using the same characteristics as your base files, i.e. if you shot in 1080p 30 frames per second, then export in 1080p 30 frames per second. If you filmed using a bitrate of 30,000 kilobytes per second, then export it at 30,000 kilobytes per second. Trying to up your bitrate upon export will not improve your video quality. In fact, it might make it worse. To check your base file's characteristics, go to the file properties, and under details, you can see the frame size, bitrate, frame rate, and audio settings. Just match those up with the settings when you go to export out of your video editing software. Be patient. Just because YouTube says your video is ready to view doesn't mean they're done processing it. Most videos are only available to view in standard definition right out of the gate. You'll need to wait up to a few additional hours for YouTube to convert it into high def. My recommendation, upload your videos privately and switch them over to public once YouTube is done up converting them to high def. YouTube uses two codecs for encoding videos, ABC and VP09. You don't need to know what a codec is, only know that VP09 is the one you want. Unfortunately for you, just about all videos initially encode using AVC, which is a far inferior codec to VP09. To see what codec your video encoded with, right-click on your video while it's playing and click Stats for Nerds. There you can see, among other things, the codec used. So how do you get your videos to encode using VP09? I only know of one way. I'm sure there's others, but this trick works. After you've uploaded your video and it's converted over to HD format, go to Video Manager in YouTube and edit your video. You'll need to change something, anything. It doesn't really matter. What I do is increase the video saturation by one point on the enhancement screen. This doesn't really do anything noticeable to the image, but it forces YouTube to re-encode my video. And when you know it, when it re-encodes, it does so using the superior VP09 codec. Back in Video Manager, your video will say edit in progress. About six hours later and the edit will be complete and your video should be VP09. If you got any other tips and tricks, put them in the comments. I'd love to hear them.